So normally I'm quite surprised when we get very exciting guests in on a Sunday anyway. The fact they've given their Sunday up is a good thing. I'm even more surprised today because not only has our guest travelled from New York, but she's also not feeling very well and is here as well. Taylor Momsen, how are you? I'm doing all right. You're doing I have okay. quite bad laryngitis right now, which is the first for me, so... Bad laryngitis. B- uh, bit you sound on that, but I hope you can hear me. That's okay. When we were outside, you said, I sound like a teenage boy going through puberty. I do. It's good to have a gimmick, right, Taylor? I just keep getting the Brady Bunch joke of going through changes by the band. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, listen, If you, you might not be able to hear Taylor that well, but you definitely can see her. She's being streamed live <laughs> online now. BBC.co.uk slash radio. Lots of people very excited about the fact you're here. The Pretty Reckless have got quite a militant fan base. You've got a big, big support group out there. Yeah, we love them. <laughs> yeah, well, I, 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 and they love you as well. Loads of people have been getting in touch today with the hashtag R1 Taylor Momsen. Now, before we get to those questions, uh, I have a bone to pick with you, and it's this. You seem to be annoyingly talented, Taylor. <laughs> well, you've thank been in, you. You've been in the industry for like 18 years, since you were two years old. Yep. You've done modelling, you've done acting, you've done singing now, you're in a band, you're a songwriter as well. Other people <laughs> sing your songs. Is there anything you can't do? Oh, I can't drive. You can't drive? No. There you go. At least I have that one over you. I don't have a license. I've lived in New York my whole life, so I've never needed one. Well, here's the thing. I learned to drive when I was 17 years old. Haven't driven ever since because I moved to London. Yeah, and you you don't need one here either. <laughs> don't need it either. Presumably as well, you have, do you have a driver, like a butler that you can go, geez, come here, take me to I am, the department I store. am so not that part of <laughs> rock and roll, man. <laughs> part of rock and roll. Uh, and not, this is subways. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. You must you must get recognised on public transport, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's... Uh, I've had paparazzi follow me onto the subway and then there's, there's nowhere you can go. So it's just really uncomfortable. They're sitting across from you just snapping photos. Have you thought about wearing a disguise? Perhaps a stylish moustache and fake nose? And possibly. I may have to try that. That'd be good. Is there like a technique you have? Because some people wear masks over their heads. Some people do a hoodie right up and tie it tight. Do you have like a thing to sneak under the radar? Uh... I think New York, I, I mean, you can kind of hide in New York unless you go to the areas where you know there's going to be, you know, like Soho. Is, you, know, you're, you expect to be photographed. If you yeah. go, you're, you're prepared for it. But, as, you, uh, as long as you don't wander around with a t-shirt that says, I'm Taylor Momsen, everyone. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? So, you know, put, put a hood up and pull your hair back a bit. <laughs> yeah. You're looking very rock and roll today. Kind of all, all in black, got the big shades on. Yeah, you, yeah. Can ta- you can tell when someone's a rock star when they've got shades on. It's because it's too early, man. <laughs> too early? It's midday, Taylor. You tell someone's a rock star when it's midday. I don't even know what early. time zone I'm on. I'm on at this point. I feel like I haven't slept in ages. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, we appreciate you being here, despite the lack of sleep. Uh, now, you've done lots of stuff. Currently, your big project is The Pretty Reckless. I know that music is, like, the biggest thing in your life. Yeah. Um, how, much, uh, how much more would you say you love of the music side of things to the acting side of stuff because you've done that for ages as well. I, there's no comparison. I mean, acting was something that I started. Uh, yeah, I got put into it by my family at you know three years old, and it was just something I always did. And uh, music is. I, I started writing songs at a very young age, and, and singing and, and music was always my passion. I think anyone who who knew me personally, uh, they knew that's where I was going. You know, but I wasn't going to release a record three years old but you can be in a commercial you did you did did write a song I read a thing you wrote a song when you were eight years old which Heidi Montag off of Heidi and Spencer later went on to record despite you knowing nothing about it I didn't know anything about it I I, I don't know exactly the ages it was in between eight and like eleven or something, sure. but uh, okay. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what day it is. What was, but, uh, song, what was that song about, Taylor? What kind of things does an eight-year-old have in common with Heidi Montag? Uh, I have no idea, to be honest <laughs> with you. But it was quite strange when it got sent to me, and uh, they said, isn't, "Didn't you write? Isn't this your song?" <laughs> and uh, it, it was, and it was already released and everything. But you know, hey. Uh, so That's with, cool. So with that in mind then, the fact that the music is uh, is your real passion, every Christmas when the Grinch movie comes on TV, do you get a, 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 a do you sigh or do you go, ah, I like watching this movie back. Think well, of the well, think of the repeat fee. I don't, I mean, I'll flip, if it's on TV, I'll flip through it for like a minute, but I, I'm not 
watching it every year by any means. But I mean, I was five years old when I did that. So, you know, I'm not going to be embarrassed of my child. Oh, you're not going to get everyone around to watch the DVD. That's what I, I would do. If I was Macaulay Culkin, <laughs> every year I would get everyone around. It's like, right, we'll watch it Home Alone. It's a little bit too weird. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of it. You should be proud of it. It's a great film. Oh, I'm, I'm certainly not unproud of it. But, you know, again, I'm not going to watch myself. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the music then. Um, you're in a band, The Pretty Reckless. You're the front woman. I noticed the rest of the band not turned up today. You're the person doing all the stuff despite the fact despite the fact that I can't talk you can't talk I know they're, it's because they're lazy lazy still in bed That's the, it's the hardest part about being everyone asks me what's the hardest part about being a front woman I said that I have to do all the interviews myself you have to do everything I yeah. just do it all the drummer the drummer just gets to go Jamie gets to go on stage and hit things that's all he has to do <laughs> that's the best job in the world um, Jess Matheson on Twitter who's used the hashtag r one Taylor Momsen, you can do the same if you want says what are you most looking forward to about your upcoming tour do you like touring? Is that a good thing? I do. I love touring. It's uh, it's certainly not for everyone. It's it, get, it gets brutal and uh, long and tiring. And uh, but we love playing shows every night. So you know, I always say touring's like it, it, it's the greatest job in the world, but it's a really, really, really long commute to right. work for an hour. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So the shows are you know obviously the most important thing, and we take them very, very seriously. But. Uh, the the sleep becomes the issue, hence laryngitis. <laughs> uh, being the front woman, do you get the best bunk on a travelling coach? Uh, they're all pretty equal. <laughs> They're all no, pretty equal. You yeah. don't get the longest one. There's not one with like a glitter ball in it. You go, that's mine. I'm no, definitely having no, it. No, no, no. One with the best sound system. That I'll, I'll take that one. The bunks in uh, the bunks in, in Europe and the UK are like they're so much smaller than the ones in the US. Right, so it okay. almost feels like you're in a coffin. So I have to sleep with the curtain open. Otherwise, I get really claustrophobic. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. I mean, that's uh, it sounds terrifying. No wonder you've you've set up with laryngitis, sleep in a coffin every day. It's quite good for the rock rock and roll image, though. <laughs> It works. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, right, uh, we have got to... Oh, yeah, we've got your single to play now. This is exciting. Heaven Knows by The Pretty Reckless. Would you like to introduce it for us and obviously make sure you say on BBC Radio 1? Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Taylor Momsen from The Pretty Reckless and this is our new single, Heaven Knows, and you are listening to BBC Radio 1. Nailed it. So this is new from The Pretty Reckless, fronted by the very lovely... Taylor Momsen, that is Heaven Knows here on Radio 1. BBC Radio 1. Is it nice hearing your song on the radio, Taylor? It's awesome. Although, when you're in the station and you play it, it kind of doesn't count. Right. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you, know, you know it's coming. Sure, when you hear it, you're in the car and you hear it, you go, yeah. oh, that's If fun. you're just driving and you're listening to the radio, then it comes on, it's awesome. Which, by the way, I have never heard the song on the radio Everyone else has. Everyone else in the band. Everyone, like all my friends. You're listening to the wrong the stuff. You listen to those easy listening stations all the time. That's I, your problem. I, I don't. I'm, I don't. I'm listening to the stations too. <laughs> but it's just, and it. I had a driver uh, in California. We were there the other day, and uh, as soon as we got out of the car, he. Literally, right as soon as we got out of the car, he sent a voice memo going, it came on, you just <laughs> closed the door, and it's, oh dear. it's playing right now. It's a conspiracy. Right they know when you're traveling. Uh, if you've just tuned in... Bad luck with the little things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you've just tuned in, Taylor Monson isn't having a nervous breakdown. She's got laryngitis. She's not on the verge of tears. Uh, you can watch online, bbc.co.uk slash radio one if you want to. Now, I hear that you've got quite a excessive collection of dolls. Is this a true fact? It is. Because I heard that you don't like to take photographs, really. But you like to have dolls as souvenirs to yeah. say where you've been. Yeah, I. Uh, well, I used to have a lot of dolls when I was a child, and I lost a lot of them. But uh, I, yeah, now I've I've been to so many countries, so I have uh, a doll from every country I've been to, and they're sitting up on. It's kind of creepy. They all have their own personality. And um, when you say you <laughs> lost a load of dolls, under what circumstances? Were you carrying them around in your pockets and they just popped out? What's no, going on here? No, when, when I moved, a bunch of boxes fell off the truck. Oh no, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh, it's like the beginning of a sequel to Toy Story. <laughs> yeah. That's very sad. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, obviously, you're not going to take a photo of today, but I want you to remember the experience. So yes. I, I searched far and wide for a Matt Edmondson doll. Okay. Couldn't find one. This is the nearest thing I could find. Is that Ken? It is Ken. Um, he, I found him in my loft 
Uh, he is, I don't know why I've got him. But he, as you can see, he's got rippling abs. He which, does. Taylor, I also have. Um, I'm, I'm sure you do. He slicked yeah. his hair back. If I got enough grease in my hair, I would be able to do that. You gotta get uh, rid of those curls and bleach it out. That's right. Luckily, when I got him out of the loft, he only had one shoe. And as you may have noticed, as my gimmick, only ever wear one shoe. Fantastic. So okay, so it is it's perfect. There you go. I, so I will he, add that to the collection. You, three, two, one, catch. <laughs> That's my first male doll. That's your first male doll. Yes. He's going to have a great time on that shelf. Yeah, isn't he? yeah he is. I'll put him <laughs> up next to all the Lovely. All broken right. ones. <laughs> uh, you can keep your questions coming in for Taylor if you want. Taylor, we may, just for us, you don't have to look at it, take a photo of you and doll me and put it up on the Radio on Twitter page, at BBCR1, if you want to see that photo in a second. Today, as I said, Jamila Jamil is here with the official chart from four o'clock this afternoon. BBC uh-huh. Radio 1. Now, something, uh, we got carried away doing that record there, didn't we, Taylor? Yeah, we did. Uh, we went to have a photo with me and the doll I presented Taylor of me, which is actually just a Ken doll from the Barbie world. Um, I've tried to make myself look as much like Ken as possible. I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, Taylor, you suggested that I take my shirt off. Well, if you're going to do it, you got to go all the way. Uh, we've taken a photo. We're going to put it up <laughs> on Twitter now, at BBCR1, if you want to have a look. Uh, be honest with me, Taylor. Were you impressed by what you saw? I was... Uh, yeah, so I was I was more impressed than expected. How about that? <laughs> okay, you had re- you, the bar was set very low, is what you're saying. Hey, so, yeah. I, it's, it's what it's what's under the pants that counts, right? Right, that's and, true. And, and Ken, thank- Ken's got nothing, so <laughs> well, that's true. And thankfully, he didn't ask me to take those off. It was just the shirt and the shoe. <laughs> so you can have a look at that photo online. Uh, so we're going to play a little game. It's called Someone Says. All right. It's like the game Simon Says. So normally, what would happen in Simon Says is if you say Simon Says, you do the thing. If you don't say, you don't do the thing. It's that with a general knowledge quiz. But there's a twist, okay? Okay. Because when I ask you a question and don't say, Matt says, you have to give me the answer, but change the beginning of every word to a new letter. So if I said, like, what is the name of the lead singer of The Pretty Reckless? And the letter was B, I would say, Baylor Bomson. Does that make sense? Okay, so just change it. Okay, just so get the, the answer right, but change the letter. That's right, that's right. It's All slightly right. confusing. We'll play it in a bit just after the news. Uh, I'm Bye. already going to suck at this. Uh, you're going to be good. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> you're going to win. Blame it on the laryngitis. Oh, that has perked me right up on a Sunday afternoon. That is good, Taylor. Thank that is you. the pretty reckless going to hell from going to hell out on March the 17th. You can get it there. And then all over the world a day later. Yes. UK get it exclusive, which is quite exciting. Uh, now, Taylor, we're going to play this game that I've come up with. It's called Someone Says. So the rules are dead simple. It's a quiz mixed with the copyright-free game Simon Says. You know the one. Yes. So it's quite simple. You'll have one minute to answer a series of general knowledge questions. But if I say Matt Says before the question, you attempt to answer it correctly. Give me the real answer. If I don't say Matt says, you must answer by replacing the first letter of every word in your answer with a different one. In this case, we're going with the letter D. So, for example, if I said Matt says Buzz Lightyear is a character from which film, you would say? Uh, Toy... Doy... Doy Dory. <laughs> well, that, no, no, because I said Matt says, so oh, it would did. be Toy Story. I'm, more, I'm already, I told you, I'm bad at games. You're fine. This is why we have this uh, <laughs> quick chat beforehand. Um, but if I said, like you just said, Buzz Lightyear is a character in which film, you would say? Doy Dory. Doy Dory. Yeah, of course you would. <laughs> All right. Uh, once I've asked you 60 seconds worth of questions, you'll get to ask me some questions. Now, since I'm the creator of this game and therefore the best in the world. Yeah, therefore, all- you're already going to win. Well, I, th- I see. I think you cheated and already saw the questions. I've not seen the questions. I promise you. Hand on heart. It's the BBC. We are not allowed to lie. Um, here's the thing. If I, if you, oh, hang on, what is the rule? What is the rule? If I get the same as you, or if you get the same as me, basically, if you draw or do better, then you can put a tweet out from my account. All right. But if you lose, I'll put one out from your account. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. All Let's right. Let's try it. So remember, if I say Matt says before, answer correctly. Answer if I don't correctly. say it, D. all the words with the letter D. Your time starts now. Matt says, in these Star Wars films, what is Luke, Luke's surname? Uh, Luke Skywalker. Correct. Who sang Paparazzi and Bad Romance? Daddy Dada. Correct. Matt says, what animal does milk traditionally come from? 
Milk, uh, cows. Correct. Bart, Homer, Marge, Lisa and Maggie are members of which cartoon family? The Dimpsons. Correct. Matt says, what is the name of the president of the USA's residence? Currently? Mm -hmm. President Obama. No, his residence. Oh, the, the White House. <laughs> Matt says, who played the Grinch in the film The Grinch? <laughs> Jim Carrey. LAX is the code for which airport? Dos, An Dos Angeles. What meat do you traditionally eat at Christmas and Thanksgiving? Turkey. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Got it in the last minute there. Is it, is it, is it turkey, chicken? I don't it's know. Turkey. Roast beef? Doesn't anyone have a preference? Turkey. Turkey is a big one, is it? <laughs> Everyone's eating a bit of turkey. Um, so, who was keeping scores there? Adjudicator Christopher, what were the scores? Eight points. All right, that is what I have to beat. So we'll have another minute on the clock. You're going to be the quiz mistress now, if that's right. okay. I like, a, I like not being in the hot seat. I've got to equalise eight uh, to win. If not, you get to tweet from my account. How many Twitter followers do you have, by the way? Uh, eight. It's quite a lot. Yeah, it's quite a lot. I'd, I'd, up. I'd, have to, I'd have to look at it my Twitter. It is 875,000. Yes. I so wanna, thank you. I, I want to win this. Follows. <laughs> it's at Taylor Mopson and the band one is at TBR Official. Lovely. All right, let's do this then. The minute starts now. Same letter D. Taylor says the song Timber is by which two artists? Pitbull and Kesha. Taylor says what is the name of the candlestick in Beauty and the Beast? Lumiere? Yeah. Roar and I kissed a Perry. I <laughs> <laughs> Roar and I kissed a girl are songs by which artist? Dainty Derry. Yeah, I gave that away. That was unfair. Who is the current host of Big Brother's Bit on the side? Dylan Dark. Name three animals that you can get from cheese from. Dow. Dote. Deep. <laughs> Taylor says in the Harry Potter books, what is Ron's surname? Weasley. What sport do the New York Knicks play? Basketball? Yeah. Who presents the X Factor? Dermot Doleary. Taylor says. Uh, oh my Sorry? Was that out of time? Oh, dearie. That's an apostrophe. That's the word. The word's <laughs> O'Deary. Okay, at the end of that, the adjudicator is adding up the scores and we can reveal... Are you joking? But I think... I didn't ask as many questions because I gave you the answer for one of them because I clearly can't read off a page. <laughs> so at the end of that, I got seven... Taylor, you got eight, which means that you win and you get to tweet from my account. Oh, you're, scre you're screwed now. I am screwed. That's really annoying. <laughs> I hate losing games. All right, then. Uh, let me log into my phone for you. I'm going to hand Taylor my Twitter now. Don't worry if you don't follow me. We will retweet it from at BBCR1. I will have Taylor, to follow you. There you go. Right. Do, do your worst. Um, Taylor, don't press send yet. We'll do that live on air after Tiny Temper and... Taylor Momsen, you're looking very happy with yourself. It's annoying me. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, you've uh, you've beat me at my own game there. That's the first week we've played it in that way, and I'm annoyed to have lost. I'm and amazed I won, so... Yeah, I'm amazed you won as well. I'm furious about it. I think so, you asked more questions, though, so I think it was a little unfair. Do you think that's what it was? Well, sadly, the rules that take you have won the game. Dermot, <laughs> don't dearie, indeed. Uh, so, you've composed a tweet from my account. I've yet to see it. To adjudicate uh, that tweet, please welcome Hugh Stevens. Hi, Hugh. Hi. Hugh, you are on the way next on Radio 1. What mm. can we expect from your show? Lots of great music. Yeah, of course. Sing for the moment. Oh, yeah. Motivational speech. Mm. You know, I'm not really paying attention because what I'm looking forward to now... I know. ...is to find out what damage Taylor has done on the old Twitter. If you don't follow me, don't worry. Um, we're going to retweet whatever it is from at BBC R1. Hugh, what is the damage? OK, I've got your phone. Taylor's written in it. The doll I gave at Taylor Momsen is anatomically correct, especially the non-existent groin. Hashtag going to hell, March 17. <laughs> Hang on, and is there a photo included? And there is a photo included as well, okay. which you need to see. Can I send this? Press send. I even did the, the small finger. The... Oh, oh to, comp to as a comparison. As a comparison. Oh well, thanks very much. Thank it's been tweeted. Much. There Lovely. you go. It's gone. Sent.
Well, despite your cruelty, Taylor Momsen, thank you so much for coming as, uh, coming thank in, especially you. with a bit of laryngitis. Thank you. So, sorry, I sound like this. Thank you so much for having me. That is quite all right. I'd love to come back and sound like a normal person. Uh, one day. I, I think I prefer you this way. I like it. It adds an extra layer of amusement to everything. I like it. Uh, Taylor, thanks for coming in um, and good luck with the album Going to Hell out on March the 17th and also good luck with the single that's out now. Thank well. you so much. Cheers, Taylor. Take care.